These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Nader from the Mideast. People keep saying the exchange rate that's in the budget. Me, I don't think it's in a budget because the budget has nothing to do with the rate. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. Mark Z via PDK article, quote, The House of Representatives adjourns its session and decides to hold another closed session tomorrow to discuss preserving Iraq's sovereignty, unquote. Mark Z says, what is the biggest hindrance to their sovereignty right now? It's their absolutely dependence on the U.S. dollar until they revalue their currency. They will never have true sovereignty until they do not have a U.S.-based currency. Mark Z uh, continued, says this means they need to reinstate the dinar value instead of using U.S. dollars. This is an open conversation in politics over there right now. We know it's close. The CBI told us it's close. The Iraqi government told us it's close. The UN, IMF, World Bank has told us it's close. Every agency out there has told us it's close. Frank 26, community member, Bank Experience. Frank says, you called me two days ago. We're very excited. Something happened. You were minding your own business. Walked into a bank, correct? The member said, I live in the state of Florida. The bank I'm talking about is called the Truist in Orlando area. I know the VP of the branch that I went to visit. I saw she was alone in her office. I invited myself in. Um, the member says, a little history. I had reached out to her about a year ago. She said, I can't talk about this at the branch. Maybe I can talk to you some other day. Well, the other day came a year later, which was last week. I was very direct. We talked for about 20 to 30 minutes. My first question to her was if she's aware of currencies that are going to be included in her bank system or if she and her staff are learning any new protocols on currencies that are going to be coming into trading where we can come and exchange. Uh, Frank says, you sit down, then out of the blue, you just come up and ask, is your bank doing any procedures right now? Any work right now in foreign currencies that's going to be exchanged? Uh, the member said, correct. I said, are you going to be exchanging any currencies in the near future that your protocols are set in place for? She said, yes. I said, there is the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnam dong that I am currently invested in. Are you guys going to be exchanging any of these currencies in the near future? She said, yes, I know you're not allowed to tell me the dates or rates or anything like that, but will this happen before the end of the year or is it going to happen next year? She said, it's going to happen before the end of the year. I said, interesting, what protocols do you have that I can come in and exchange my currencies? I go, I know you're not a large participant in this process, so I'm assuming you're a satellite bank and you're going to be able to assist in the process. She said, that's correct. Uh, what's the process? What do I need to bring uh, my currency and exchange it? I said, uh, this is what uh, was very interesting. She said, bring in your currency and we take it and we give it to collections for three working calendar days. I looked at her and said, so you're going to take my currency for three days and then you're going to give me the value of the currency in that three day period. She said, absolutely. The collection department will give you the rate of that day. I said, well, over my dead body, am I going to give you my currency without anything from you guys? She said, precisely. There are going to be banks out there that are not certified to do any of this. They will take your money and will not give you anything. You've got to remember, be very cautious about not just giving your investment to any bank out there. You want to go to participating banks that are assisting you in this. And there is one more follow-up post from Frank that has not been released just yet, but I'll do that on tomorrow's YouTube. All right, we have from Samson article, quote, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq receives the ambassador of the United States of America, quote, Iraq and Washington agree to develop banking procedures for Baghdad. Caperoni says if and when Iraq decides to begin to raise the value of the Iraqi dinar, it will be gradually over time. There is no overnight RV. A country's currency value is a reflection of the success and gross growth of their co economy. So until Iraq passes laws, encourages investments, and their economy diversifies, nothing is going to happen. 
Mark Z via PDK question, what about the 36 hours of target from yesterday? Mark Z says it never materialized. I thought it was a bit premature. Samson article quote about 100 billion Iraqi oil revenues in 10 months. Quote, these revenues increased from the last year, 2021, by 65%. As the financial revenues amounted to sixty billion six hundred forty eight million eleven thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars and lastly mark z via pdk question i wonder is it true that 4.81 is in iraq now could this be factual mark z says that is what we are hearing for the international rate i am hearing four dollars eighty three cents we simply won't know until we get through the door. Does it make sense at that rate? Absolutely. Could it be? Absolutely.